everyone. I'm going to just show you a couple things I've been up to. Sort of been MIA for a while. Um, having a couple of health issues. And my father was in the hospital last week. And he's out now doing well. Thank you. So I just wanted to share a few things that I've uh, started to do. I've ventured back into Arena, which you've seen a previous posting of uh, some art journaling they had done back a little while ago. And told you I was looking for some new format to do and um, decided to look around a while. And I finally came up with a little book. And I'm sort of liking how it's working so far. So I did do a little bit of work. This is actually a journal that I found at, I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's supposed to be uh, like a watercolor journal. Almost is like a moleskin, sort of set up like it's got the strap that comes around the top of it and everything else. But uh, not, as far as I know, not the same uh, textures and things like the moleskin, but pretty close to it. And like I said, it's so hard to find that anyways. So I'm trying to get my lighting changed here a little bit for you. So I'm just going to put the book back down, lean it here, and then I'm going to open up to the first page. Um, beginning part of October, I went to Chicago for a day with this uh, group of co-workers. So I wanted to do a spread for Chicago, and this is what I came up with. And I sort of had an outline of the skyline and did a little um, outline of the sky. And did a little watercolors and a little pen work. This, is needless to say, um, isn't quite completed. The title's going to be Chicago, Chicago, the Wet and Windy City. It rained all the time. That's why the gloomy skies. This is a couple layers of uh, paint. And then there is some um, iridescent spray over it. So it looks like water droplets. It's like uh, some glimmer mist on it and different things like that. And um, then at the bottom, there was actually white caps that day on the lake. And I have this netting that I found at a uh, scrap place where they recycle materials that are left over from different companies and I thought well that actually gives you the white cap look so there's some layers of that then I did some little water coloring of some trees in there throughout these um, things sort of like it this particular page is actually a pocket I glued two pages together and made a little pocket and I'm going to put some of the souvenir items from Chicago in there and um, be able to keep those items in um, so this is going to be like a little bit of a journaling book next page is some of the places that we went to um, this is actually a picture of the ledge that you can look out of off of the Hancock Observatory over the side. Or not the Hancock Observatory, or is it? I forget where that's at. I think that's where that's at. Or actually, no, it's called the Willis Tower, or as the Chicago ones call it, Big Willie. And then, of course, the Chicago Deep Dish Pizza, which we did not have. We were on a tour, and we tried to get to Little Italy. Little bit on so us after we were on the tour for an hour, found out that we weren't going to go to Little Italy. So we did not get to go and get that. But we did go to this restaurant on the Navy Pier that was Italian. It was really good. All my friend said her food was good there, too. Of course, we went to the Navy Pier. We didn't really go to any place. And what I did with this was this is a watercolor background, and then I put some gesso over it to tone it down. And then, actually, I took the tour um, line that we actually took, a map of the Magnificent Mile, and that's what that is. And I'm going to highlight a couple of the areas we went to. We um, To do this trip, we had to get on a bus at 6 o'clock in the morning. We never got home to 1 o'clock in the morning the next day. So it was a very quick pace uh, trip, to say the least. But we did get the world-famous Garrett's Popcorn. Oh, my God, that is to die for. So if you ever do go to Chicago, make sure you get the freebie one if you do the tour bus. And we went out to the Field Museum. We were going to go there, but we just ran out of time because we were on the tour bus for so long. And obviously, they call those the corn cob towers, which are um, actual apartment and uh, places like that that people live at. So, as you can see, I continued the uh, corner here uh, was a continuation of the flap. So, I did continue that building on that page. So, sort of like how that turned out. Got a lot of journaling to do yet. Um, but I just wanted to sort of let you know what that was. And then, of course, as you know, it has been crazyville this summer, or this fall for the elections. And it just drove us nuts in this particular area. So I decided I had to do something. So I came up with this bread called the Battles of Fall. And um, 
it was just the start of the fall colors. So um, I'm not gonna let you read my journaling. There's a little bit of journaling in this box, but this is a couple different layers of um, paint and items. Um, there's some gold, and then I did some scratching of the twigs and then in hand drawn some um, lay layers of branches in. And obviously this side is my loves, which explains how I love the fall colors, but I hate all the rest of the things that go on with fall. And this is called the Arts of Politics. And this, um, if you haven't figured out by now, I'm, I live in Ohio, and we had a pretty big battle going on. We had a senator that's been in the Senate for about 27 years, and they tried to say she was going to get knocked out this year, but she did not. She won her debate and won again. And, of course, we had... Um, that's my dislikes of fall. And our uh, governor, uh, also, we had quite a political um, debate going on in the state of Ohio. So, a lot of new folks on board. So, they got a lot of people knocked off um, from that. But we pretty well knew things were going to have to change for Ohio. Next page, I actually did a little fall color drive. And this was inspired by, <laughs> we get these... Um, free magazines or newspapers in this area that I live in and that title autumn was um, from that magazine I liked how it had all the swirl in it. and I'm gonna go up closer so you can see it and so I cut that out and that was the inspiration for the start of my page basically got a several layers of watercolor I've got some glazes in there so to bring in the fall colors and then I um, freehand the watercolor of the tree and then I took a piece of paper and actually just randomly it was a piece of watercolor paper sorry my page is flipping shut but i just randomly did a lot of um fall colors on the watercolor with uh watercolor paper excuse me and then i took a punch and literally punched out i believe there's over 100 different leaves on this tree and then i glued those all onto this to get my page and then obviously there's some in the fall on on the ground excuse me and um, just basically did some, um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here for you, hopefully, and you can see how I have some of the trees in the background and the different colors. And then it just explains, you know, how I went for the drip and how I really, you know, love fall colors, but I hate winter because it's around the corner. And we, needless to say, usually have nine months of, um, as we say, god-awful weather in this area. But, you know, I do look forward to fall and love it, but uh, since it's about this time this actually it was about four weeks ago and three weeks ago and ever since then we have had periods where we've had a little bit of uh, snow mostly a lot of fog a lot of schools have been delayed in this area and they actually canceled this week because of fog and um, back to 60 yesterday but now it's gonna be 40 the rest of the week and there's some snow we've had a couple snow flurries nothing measurable but it's coming around the corner and that's pretty well what I've done in the journal. There's another page, but I'm not done with that, and it's a fall page. But I want to also show you a few other things I've been up to. Um, there is a person on YouTube, and I don't know what her real name is. I know she's um, uh, not from the States. Her uh, YouTube name is Rachel, Rach, R-A-C-H-O, um, 13, I believe it is. And she has done some terrific mixed medium and work. And... I had actually ordered these stamps that she had showed a long time ago, probably two months ago from this company, and basically kept waiting for them to come, waiting for them to come. Well, then come find out they took a vacation for a month, so I finally got these last week, and I was totally inspired by what she did. So I lifted this uh, layout from her, and this is going into a journal that I'm in the process of making right now. Um, sorry, my tripod just collapsed. And basically... Um, this is a lot of different layers of watercolor. There's some gesso. There's some back stamping in the background. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Um, the swirls here are also a stamp, but they're some with white gesso. I do not, but I have ordered um, a memories waiting pad. Mine is totally dried up. And then I did a little journaling, and it says, Do you ever have one of those days when you wonder why you got up? And just love that stamp. That's what inspired this whole page. And she's just quite the mess, to say the least, but um, really had fun doing this and tried some new techniques and got back to doing a few things that I have not done for a while. So I wanted to thank Rach O13 from YouTube to give me this inspiration. And since I was on a kick, I also came up with a second one and um, going in a whole different direction. This is all in um, pastels and paint. 
started out by making a frame around it to begin with and then I over stamped it um, in this brown ink with my um, this is actually Stampendous um, actually tree texture more or less stamp so it looks like a frame around it and then I back stamped you can't see it but this is some some stamping here which are just generic words I had a little sheet of music down there and then I took um, a stencil and did some gessoing over that and then stamped her those are actually um, I finally got some intense inks and those are on her dress and um, also did some graphic tents which are almost like a uh, watercolor pencil too but they're graphic um, pens so, so they're really cool and I love the saying it says beauty is not in the face beauty is a light in the heart and if you notice she actually has a little purse and it actually has the heart on it as well and of course you gotta love that face that's what inspired the saying that I came up with um, that I did find and that's who wrote that um, just sort of fooling around with it right now not completely done um, have also bought another one of the stamps and this is uh, the page I'm currently working on and I'm um, not completely completely done I'm probably gonna give this as a gift to someone um, same thing some watercolor crayons I have about five or six pinks and reds in there and then I have some blue there is a piece of paper underneath here um, there is some water splashes so it looks like tie-dye effect there's a little bit yellow in there and then these are the angel wings um, thank you Paula from Journal of Tista um, this is something I saw her use a couple weeks ago and absolutely fell in love and they're by Tulip and they, they're in the Michael section uh, where they sell the t-shirts um, to make t-shirts and stuff from so I did those in there and then um, I actually used a product I haven't used before and it's um, a stencil that I have and this is called texture M magic and it's in yellow or actually it's in pink and this is by Delta I got this at a outlet store I haven't really seen in my area and that actually puffed up as you can see so I got a little texture going on there when that dried with the heat gun it puffed it up so I have a couple of those on there as well did a little bit of glazing that's what the brighter red is is glaze and then obviously my last stamp is this lady and this is um going to be all about being a mother um i haven't quite quit up come up with what i'm going to write but I obviously it looks like she's had a bad day a stressful day about being a mom so i think that's sort of what this is going to go in that direction but i just wanted to share a few things so everybody could see what i was up to and um have a great night and i'm going to get back to watching some more tutorials and uh hope to hear from everybody soon have a great one bye